hit the panic button just once and then you see we go back to the original 22 in your country of course 25. Hello e-scooter friends, welcome to another video of WMA here on YouTube. Thanks again for switching in. Yeah, it's just some, some days that you've seen the update for the license code tuning and now there's another very big update. But I'd, let me just uh, give you like a brief update to what I'm speaking about. If you're new to this channel, I'm going to show you how you can tune your new Segway 9 bot. Doesn't matter if it's an F3, ZT3, um, G3 or GT3. Uh, to the different speed of F3, 35 kilometers per hour, ZT3, 40 kilometers per hour, G3 45 kilometers per hour and GT3 50 kilometers per hour. And that couldn't be easier. You only need a phone, doesn't matter if it's Android or iOS, just buy the license code and then you can install it from the, from the homepage. It could not be more easy. Of course, yes, that is a serious side. All the informations are linked in the video description. So if you want to get one of these codes, just go for it. Don't worry, the shop is serious and you will get, receive the code something between two minutes and a half an hour to an hour, depending how much people ask for this at the moment at the server. But but the big update now is you have a panic button. So that means that was something the German community asked a lot for. So it means like when you're in the tuning profile, uh, it was before that when you wanted to go back to the um, close to original profile, you had to switch the scooter off and on again. And now there's a panic button uh, feature integ integrated. So you can now use the action button to while you're driving, just push the action button and you will automatically be in the, in the standard mode. And that is a good feature. I got a lot of questions. Hey, there's a tuning that is possible for free. Yes, but you don't have the options you have over here. You can configure an own brake trick. So that means you can uh, set a sequence between brake, gas, gas, or, or turn light to enter the tuning mode. And that makes it quite secret. But the most important thing is we speak about tuning and that means, of course, it's not uh, street legal and you're only allowed to ride it on private grounds. But I will now show you how you can do the update and what are the new features. Uh, as you know it from me, step by step, at this point, if you have any questions, if there's anything you want to know, let me know down in the video comments. And if you're interested in the license codes, of course, uh, also in the video description, you will find all the information you need. And at this point, I would also be happy if you put me down a thumbs up, also a sub to the channel. Thank you very much for liking, subscribing, and also commenting to my videos. And now I would say, let's go. So now, before starting, you of course have to turn on the scooter. And uh, next is you go to the side 9bot.1dragon.de link is of course in the video description so just take a look at it and uh, then you will click on connect scooter um, i will now choose my g3 not the zt3 then it takes a moment and you will need to confirm it with a power button so that it's your scooter just click once take some seconds and then we are connected of course now where the button is uninstall firmware there you will see the button for update uh, of course i did the update before to just try does it work before i show it to you um, but i can now also show you the sequence in this video how it works um, don't mind now um, the update takes a bit longer like the the original the first uh, inst installment was like 10 to 30 seconds. Now it takes around like two minutes because the update is bigger and you get like a, get some, some cool upgrades for your scooter. Um, just be aware, let the scooter be switched on and also uh, keep the connection with your phone to the scooter. So just put the phone to the scooter and wait the two minutes and then you're all done. And then it will look exactly like it does on mine. Next thing is um, to see what we can do is we click on settings and then you see there is the panic button means like your action button now is a panic button. I will now show it to you. So when you ride and you want to switch back to the close to original profile, you just hit the action button and you're back to original. And that is cool. I can just show it to you. We will now enter the speed profile. I configured the code uh, three times left brake, one time re uh, right brake. So one, two, three, one. And then you see also the range changed. So you see also with the beeping, now you're in the open mode. Now I can show you what happens. And there we do hit the 45 and now we just need to hit the panic button just once and then you see we go back to the original 22 in your country of course 25 and now we can also access the, uh, the cruise control so there you see 22 cruise control is locked and you can just start cruising if you want to go back to the tuning profile just switch the scooter off uh, turn it on again, enter your combination and you're back in the tuning mode. And that is so cool because if you get into the situation that you want to have it close to original, just hit the button and then you're all set. When we take a look at the, at the app, you also have uh, some cool features. Don't mind, there is written 22. If you're like in a country where you have original 25, it will be 25. 
When you now scroll down, you can also set 45 down to, for example, 35, if you don't want to have the full potential of the scooter. If you just want to have it a bit slower, but you're like fine with 30, you can of course now set it to 30 and then just uh, click on save and the scooter will be in the open mode only riding 30. So as you prefer, of course, I take it with the max speed. Next thing is you also can activate the underglow lights and the front light bar in the tuning mode and also in the original mode as you want to. And now they upgraded also the cruise control. After my last video, I got a lot of questions like, hey, why does the cruise control doesn't work with my scooter? And that is a point. If this is for you, like if it doesn't work, you need to just uh, uninstall the tuning. Then you go into the original Segway app, you do the latest update with your scooter and then you install the tuning again and then cruise control will work as I showed you to you. You just hit a speed and then push the mode button for three seconds and then you already have it activated. What we now can also take a look at is the unlock code. A lot of you ask, why do I need that? For example, in Germany, you maybe have some situations where you want to switch back to original very fast. So, um, and also you, want it, you don't want the scooter to be uh, in the tune mode when you start it. You can also deactivate it, but at the end you have to, you can set a sequence between three and 10 buttons and you can configure as you want it to. You see, I took uh, three times left brake, one time right brake. You can also take the turn signal or something else as you want to, and then just click on save and that is your code to enter the open mode. And this is like, let's be honest, the developer of this, of this tune, they made a really good job because it's like just been like some days when I, when I showed you the, the, the latest update and they just like, they just came up with a new upgrade with this panic button and this is just a good job. So at this point, also for the developer in the comments, just give him a heart or a thumbs up as, as, as you prefer. But I think we, we need to appreciate that they did, did a good job. And at this point, if you're interested in the license code, if you want to buy one, of course, everything is in the video description. Just take a look. There's everything written that you need. Uh, if you have any questions, if there's anything you want to know, just write me down in the comments. I'm always more than happy to hear from you. And as always, I would be also happy if you put me down a thumbs up and also a sub to the channel. Thank you very much for liking, subscribing and also commenting my videos. And at this point, I can just say we see us in the next video. See you. 